it's, it's really making me, I'm not panicking, but I'm getting anxious now reading it all. It's, yeah. It's, it's nuclear. How very odd. It's cracked the dish. Hello. Hello. I'm home. Well, it'd be nice if I could see your face. Good morning, it's the next day. We've had a lie-in, caught up on some sleep. We've had a lie-in until your mum rang us. My mum rang me and woke me up <laughs> to see how I was. Um, feeling how better. How are you? I'm, I am definitely feeling better, but I'm still fatigued, tired. So tender, my stomach's tender. The doctor called me back last night and said, you know, it sounds oh, like time. food poisoning. Um, if it was anything to do with my appendix, it'd be getting worse and worse and worse all the time. And you can't feel it when you lie down? No, I can't feel it when I lie down, but I can it's feel just, it when I walk around, it's tender. It's like doing 8,000 press-ups and then morning the day uh, after that you've done too much. So, um, I do have an appetite though. I'm going to have some couple of slices of toast, which is, is good, and a green tea. Um, we'll probably stay in again today though, I don't want to go out and you know, get caught somewhere without a toilet. You're not even shitting. You can go out if you want. You're not even shitting. Stop being vile. Well, what do you want to call it? Excretiating, feciating, You can go out if you want somewhere. No, can't leave you on your own. It's stupid. We're not to make you toast. Well, that's true. Right, I'm all ready. I've been in the shower, I feel much better for that. Have you painted the blood already today? Yeah. Oh. My stomach is still very tender when I walk around, so uh, I think I'm just going to stay in, because obviously, are you still squirting through the uh, Ivy Needle? Not quite as much. <laughs> um, I don't actually, you know, want to catch anything off anybody while I'm fighting food poisoning. That's a good, that's a good thing. Um, so, there we go. I'm, Nick. I'm chomping at the bit because we have things to do. We were supposed to be going home yesterday. So, uh, I'm here, I'm here. Well, do you want to take... I'm not filming you up there. Why? It's because you've got to stretch and you'll let your stomach. Well, no, because all light's behind you, so it'll look... What was the saying? Oh, so we were supposed to go home yesterday. We had some viewings on a new apartment. So we've mentioned in our previous videos that we're downsizing the house. A lot of people have asked on comments, Oh, are you selling your house? No, we're not selling this house. We're basically going to let the house out and then let something else really cheaper. Um, because we can make a bit of money from that. Yeah. So we had two appointments yesterday. But because he had scooby-jeebies, we've had to cancel them. Yes, yeah, so I was looking forward to that, actually. It's been a long time since I... Uh... Look for a new place to live back yeah. at home. The only problem with that is you go into the house and you see all the nicely decorated things and then you think, oh, I want that, I want that, I want that. Don't you? Well, we've got nice nice things anyway. Yeah, we? well, put in it. We've, got, we've got all our furniture stuck in storage, which is costing us an arm and a leg at the minute. So we need to get this rushed through and all have it time up at the same time so we can basically set up the new apartment and then move the furniture back in. Yeah, that's because we need a base back at home near our family and business. Um, it'll be very small and um, very uh, cost effective. What? Just a one bedroom apartment somewhere. Yeah. We've got a Zion, that's just a couple, haven't we? Mm. And uh, these were the viewings that we had, but... Um... So, um, I know it's not nice staying in, but you know, a lot of people are having to do that as well. I've just got food poisoning. A lot of people have, obviously, if they're getting coughs and cold, they're having to stay in and things like that. Um... It's, it's really making me... I'm not panicking, but I'm getting anxious now, reading it all. It's, yeah, it's making... A lot of people anxious it's it's and what have you because it, it, it gets very easy to get obsessed by, by watching the news about it i was checking my phone yesterday mm. all day to see what the latest was so i've decided i've not looked at the news today and i'm not going to do so like this morning i'll tell you this morning jet 2 have cancelled all flights oh, well, and turned them all that, around yeah. in midair for spain so, to spain yeah so remember when we film this guys we're actually a week behind yes. so whatever we say might not be current because we can't film because of things yeah. like him having the screamy jeebies that we we can't do it in real time. So some updates on what's happening with us as well. Um, we know it's happening to every... Just a grey hair that will lose. We know it's happening to everybody in their holidays. Uh, we've, we've, we've decided we're cancelling New York. Uh, we're still sorting that out because we can hopefully get a refund on that part of the trip. Well, the hotel we booked on a, on a free cancellation, yep. so we're going to we'll do that. that. Um, we're cancelling Disneyland Paris. Um, I know that's not until June, but the airline went bust. And then we don't want to risk booking more flights, so we're just going to cancel it until... Hopefully all this is sorted in a few months. And the park's closed, so it may yeah. extend into June, you never know. We've not cancelled May as yet, um, at the time of filming. The flights. Uh, the flights, and... We tried to change it to, to Florida, but Virgin said no, because 
Well, they didn't. You said you can change it, but they said they were going to charge us. From the New York bit? Yeah, so we were going to change the New York bit and move it directly to Florida and just have the extra three, four days in Florida. Um, but Virgin wouldn't do it for free because it's not on a date that, yeah. like, Disney's closed so and we'll things like that. So we'll either actually just... Move. So we'll just play that by yeah, ear and we'll yeah, see yeah. how it goes. So we'll yeah. just leave them until they either do cancel it or restrict it or whatever, and we'll, we'll just take yeah. it on there. So we're... May is still up in the air at the moment for us, uh, as of, at the time of filming. You may know different because we update you guys on our Facebook pages and stuff like that. Um, so yes, it's not a nice thing, but um, a lot of people have to do it, and uh, I might just put a film on or something. And I might just go home and, and go and have a look myself. Could if you want. Make some t some lunch for me first, though. So. There's some shepherd's pie still in fridge. Oh yeah, it was beautiful that last night. There's another. They're having, we've got four more nights. I love some nice, nice. Yeah, thanks. So shall I go home then and have a look? It's up to you. Because we've got the decorators in tidying the house up, ready to lay it out. But, like I said, we have to time everything. It's up to you. I've, I'm um, positive it wasn't my appendix now, and it was just food poisoning. After he called 111, we had a, a help desk person, we had a, a nurse, and then we had a local doctor phone. Yeah, they, 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 they were very, they were very thorough. thorough. Yeah, they, they were a little concerned just because I had pain in the lower bottom of my stomach. No. Lee explained it. It only explained what was worrying him. It didn't explain the details of the symptoms. It didn't actually tell the guy, when I lay down, I have no pain whatsoever. So he was like, well, is it tender in the area? So I'm like, I'm like motioning to Lee, tell him exactly what the, what the problem is. But he didn't. You just told him what so he wanted anyway, to hear. I feel it's fine. a ton better today, but I still feel wiped out. Uh, so I just fancy some food though now. A bit of food. Oh yeah, very wiped out. More shepherd's pie. Yeah, might as well while it's there, aren't we? It's it's nuclear. How very odd. It's cracked the dish. This is cracking. It's right cracking in front of it. our I can eyes. Hear it cracking. Careful. I with need it, to then. transfer it. Bloody hell! I'd watch watch your mouth on this. It's that bleeding hot. How very odd. How very odd. Mm. Even the gravy's actually getting through as well, isn't it? Well, I'm going to eat this and I'm going to watch some movies. Uh, Nick and maybe going home now yeah. to work, into work. I've and decided. I'm going to go and get get the things done. I'll give the agent a ring to see if I can go and look, and I'll have to video call you. Come on then. Hello. 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 I'm home. Well, it'd be nice if I could see your face. So I'm just checking. Can you not? Oh wait a minute. There we go. Who? So I'm home. Better be home. I think he's got another day's worth of work to do yet. Yeah, it's quite messy. But um, he's knocked up the carpets up, so I've had to do that myself. I've got them marks on my face, I can see them. It's definitely my screen colour. Yeah. So this is the room that was the messiest. And as you can see, it's all painted. So, and the house is so warm because he's left the heating on. You've been to work as well. I'm impressed with that. Hey? Eh? So you've been to work. Yeah, I've picked up the last final two items of our PO box from work. Ooh. And um, I've had a look around, make sure everything's in order, and I've got us post. So I'll be coming back. I'm having about 10 minutes rest before I get back on the road again and do another an hour and a half driving. Well, hurry up because it's almost rush hour. Uh, what? Rush hour on a Saturday. Oh, I, I keep, rush hour on a Saturday. keep thinking it's. Fr I'm, I'm thrown off with days this week because I've had this frigging food poison. Shits. What did you say? Don't what forget. Say? Don't forget shits. what? Um, I said don't forget to have my tea on the table when I get back. Oh, don't worry. I'll warm. I'll warm some up. Some cottage pie. Well, shepherd's pie. Call yeah. shepherd's pie. So much. So well, it's beautiful. Right. I'm having ten minutes to cool down and then I'm setting off. Okay. See you soon. I'm sharing my location with you on WhatsApp so you don't see where I am. Okay. Bye. Bye. Hello. Uh, I'm home. Have you enjoyed some time on no, your own? Haven't. Why not? You don't forget. Well, for a start, the decorator left the heating on at home. Mm. So it was 21 degrees when I walked in, it almost knocked me off my feet. Well, you usually have it on lot more than 21 degrees here. Yeah, but here, only one room heats up, the entire house is 21 degrees. I'm a bit warm actually. So it's been on a while. Whew, I'm baking. Wow, what temperature is it? I think it's because I've got a jumper on. Are you still on there? You... Flash a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. You still hot? No, I'm just right at the very moment I am, yeah. Yeah, but you're always hot. Mm. It could be middle of winter. I just need to take me right, my hoodie off. Um, it's in the fridge. I'll have some too. 
I must say I'm enjoying this um, shepherd's pie, well, or veggie pie, whatever it is. Well, I'm having a big dollop because I've had no tea, no dinner, no tea, one no one breakfast. Second one as well. Maybe you should make another two for next week. I think I prefer to making it with real meat. Oh, no, 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 no. It just didn't have the meaty flavour. I'm having to put beef gravy in it to give it a bit of a... Speaking of gravy, where is it? I'm starting it. I've only got one pair of hands. Where? Oh, is it bis... Ooh. Yeah, we're using that one. That'll do. Ah, bisto. Ah, bisto. Ah, bisto, it says on front. I think it's... Ah, Wish you'd shut this, get this bloody fringe. Um, so, I've just been chilling while you've been gone. I've done a bit of um, editing. I bet you've bleeding haven't. What? No, I'm just making it up. Um, we edited. We're filming it. One that I needed to edit. Um, I did a new thumbnail. Ooh. And then I've just been chilling because I still feel washed out. So um, I'm going to have some tea. Then Nick's brought the last ever mail from our pure box uh, that we're going to open. And uh, we'll see what's in there. Right, we've had his tea. So we're going to undo the P.O. Box mails now. So one of them, think I know who it's from. Um, it's a nice lady that's been messaging or emailing us actually. She emailed us yesterday saying that she were worried that this wouldn't turn up before um, the P.O. Box closed. Can you hold that? And I'll go and get some scissors. Okay. And something terrible has just happened as well. Oh yes. My entire tooth up at the top has crumbled and basically just the filling's poking in now. So I've got to go to the dentist again. This is the fourth time now in the last 12 months. I'm getting, to, I'm getting to the age where it's like my mum's teeth. My mum's teeth are like... That's got nothing to do with age. No, my teeth's not like that. You don't have fillings. My mum's teeth's not like that. Your mum's got fillings. Not many. She has. Right, so it's from Cindy Miller. So it is the lady that emailed me last night. She was worried that it wouldn't turn, turn up. But it has and we've got it and it weighs a lot. So let me um, just get this open. So I'm going to have to make an, an emergency appointment at the dentist now. Joy. But I'm not sure they'll be able to fix this because there is no tooth. The yeah. filling was right down to the gum. You'll have to get some dentures. I'd rather just have it out. Or, or maybe get an implant or something. An implant? Where they screw it into your jaw. Oh my god. Oh, is it what? It's more half and half. Oh, yay. Yay! We have been using it, haven't we, we on, have the, on the mornings? It won't last forever. So, we've got a letter. Oh, actually, we've got two lots. So that's perfect. Fantastic. So we've got two boxes now. Yep. Thank you so very much, we've Cindy. Got a letter. Do you want me to read it while you're looking? Um, just a few things to show we really care. These were bought. These were bought with lots of love. Thank you for bringing a lot of happiness to our lives. From Yuma, Aris, Cindy, and Steve. Thanks, so, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. So there's other things. Oh, what's this that? This feels like sauce. Oh. Let's have a look, Sid. See what it is. This has definitely been wrapped well. Oh, wait a minute. Another one. Oh. And They'll last us quite a while. Another what well, looks like sauce. Let me just get rid of the box. I think that's everything. Ooh, my favourite. My favourite. We haven't got any of this at the lodge. Is it A1 steak sauce? It is. It's a big bottle and all. It's like one of those chunky bottles. We haven't had any of that for a while, have no, we, we actually? Haven't. There we go. Ah. Bliss mistake sauce. Thanks, guys. So we need to order some more steaks now. Unless we have it on the vegan things. And then there's something else. Yeah, we have, I think we've got some Zoom. vegan burgers, haven't we? We might have them tomorrow, actually. Yeah. Well, I know we've got a lot of cottage pie left, but we'll, we'll, pie. we'll be looking like a... It's not shepherd's pie, because it's, pie it's got it vegetarian well, mince it's in it. Either, then. Texas Pete's um, original hot sauce. Mm. It looks like the Franks that we get over here. Franks? Franks buffalo Like sriracha sauce. or something? No, no, no. Franks. So thanks we do for that, love sauces, Cindy. So thanks for that. Really appreciate so that. I'm really glad it turned up before we uh, yeah. we suspended the service. Yeah, we've said it um, in previous vlogs, but please don't send anything else to the PO box because it is now um, it is now closed. Yeah, and we've got two other things. One of them we're going to save for tomorrow. The other one, I presume that that is a, a birthday card. Oh yes, yeah, it's open on your birthday. There you go. Then. So I will put that in the drawer with the other one that says open on your birthday. Yeah, Nick's birthday soon. Um, this one here doesn't have a name on it. So, um, do you think, I wonder if it's for your birthday? Well, it possibly could be. Well, if it's a card, just don't open it. Do you want me to look? It's a Christmas card. Oh. Maybe it's got lost in the post. Walking into a winter wonderland. Uh, oh, it's from Aaron Bloomberg. Oh, thanks, Aaron. So, 
It must have been. It got to look us. Look at the post date. On it, it got to us finally. Uh, thank you, Aaron. Thanks very much. Yeah, I think it's been delayed in the post, but there we go. Thank you for that. We'll put that up for a while. Yeah. Uh, right. Um, that is always uh, very much appreciated when we get things. I will uh, put them straight in the fridge and then into the cupboards. And I'm going to finish watching Star Trek Voyager on Netflix. Come on then, let's go to bed. Mm. Or I'll just leave you there and I'll go to bed. Right, well before we do, I have some patrons that again I've been holding back because we've been busy that I want to say hello to. So... Well, it's not because we, we have been busy, yes. Well, well, I've been but busy. I've not been too well. So. Not been busy. So we've got to say hello to Claire Lizenden. I think it's that. Hi, Claire. Uh, Petri Garcia. Tony and Pauline Marsden, who rode the Starfly with us yep. in October. Pauline did, yeah. They just turned up and we said, right, if you're going to turn up, you're going to have to fly with us. <laughs> so, um, and those poor buggers have had their Fort Aventura yeah, flight. they were flying us. out today. Um, yeah. they've, they've closed the borders for Spain now. So they've gone to Blackpool instead. So, yeah, so good luck with that. <laughs> and um, hello to Kaylee. Hi, guys. And we've been talking to you quite a lot of you on Discord. Well, Tony and Pauline are definitely on there. And Petri. Is, is it Petri? It's a funny spelling, isn't it? It's um, like Patricia without this yeah, shit on the end. Yeah. Um, so, thanks, guys. And um, I'm feeling quite, quite perky. perky, actually, at the moment. Although, also tired. So, I'm going to bed. So, again, it's a short vlog. We do apologise. We will be opening this in tomorrow's vlog. Our PO box. I have mail. Open the, the packaging and had a peek inside. Oh, for goodness I sakes. I just opened it because I thought we might actually open it on this vlog, but I've had to cut the box to get it open. Well, I'm not going to look at it because I like to be surprised. Well. Something's going to break my teeth, so I need to get them fixed. Oh, I can't believe you broke your teeth. I can't believe it. It's like, it's like my, my, my gums, my, my teeth are like made of plaster of Paris or something. So we'll see you tomorrow, guys. Thank you for watching. Click the notification bell, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, drop us a comment below. Are you going to sleep tonight? I slept last night, actually. I know. Well, because you were poorly, I had to stay awake and make sure you got off to sleep. And then once I heard you snoring, I went to sleep myself. I have uh, to do these things, I know. just to look after you. Well, I'm never eating chicken again. See you tomorrow. Bye.